First News has been following a shooting at a local event center that took one person's life and left three others injured. That incident happened outside of Vibes this morning. First News reporter Samantha Bender joins us live from the Youngstown Police Department with what she's learned. Sam. Lindsay, Dave, good evening. This isn't the first time a shooting has occurred at this location. Back in December, we reported on a shooting in the same parking lot. Now, today, I spoke with the event coordinator at Vibes, along with Youngstown Police, to learn more about the moments leading up to this morning's shooting. According to Brandon Brown with Vibes Restaurant and Event Center, prior to the shooting, it was a normal night with no incidents inside. He says when they closed at 2.30, he helped walk customers to their cars, and just seconds later, it happened. Youngstown police say there were 50 to 100 people in the parking lot after the bar closed. They tell me there are multiple witnesses, but no one is coming forward as of right now. Brown says he's so concerned that he reached out to the chief of police asking for a police presence in their parking lot. My security, they all we can control the door and make sure everybody gets their car safe. But when people are coming to hang out, they have the new law where anybody can have a gun now. It's, it's, it's really hard to do the job. Brown says the violence in Youngstown is out of control. He says the issue is bigger than his business because someone lost their life. But it comes down to getting down to the root of the problem. He says too many people have access to guns and hold grudges and take their anger out on each other. Coming up at 6, hear more from Brown with Vibes, uh, along with Youngstown Police and the 911 call that reveals the chaotic moments just after the shooting. Live in Youngstown, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27 First News.